Hey kids, how are you? I am so excited to see you here in GFC Kids World with us one more time. Now look, it's a new month. This is our first Sunday in the month of February, and you know what a new month means. Yep, it's a brand new series, and this month we're calling it Super Fan, and I'm so excited about it. Now look, let me ask you this up front. What's your favorite sport? Now for me, it is a no-brainer. I absolutely love football. Football is my favorite. I played it for so long. I mean, I loved it. I think right now, even though I might be considered old by some of you, I think if I had helmets and pads, I could go in for at least one more play. I love it. I miss it. I love to watch the game. I love to coach the game. I love to play the game. What are some of your favorite sports? Maybe it's basketball or baseball. I like baseball too. I played basketball and baseball, both of them in high school and junior high. Loved it, played them, but football was still my favorite. So who's your favorite sports team? Well, again, hands down, Georgia Bulldogs is my favorite college football team. And you know when it comes to the NFL, I'm all about the Pittsburgh Steelers, baby. But now baseball, give me the Atlanta Braves. I'm going to cheer and chop for my Atlanta Braves all day long. Those are some of my favorite teams, but who's some of your favorite teams? Well, listen, I love sports, and I know that you do too, and, and I love to cheer for my team. And if you think about it, that's actually what we're doing when we show kindness. Yeah, I mean, we're cheering each other on. It's like we're super fans of each other. And kindness is what we're going to be learning about this month here in GFC Kids. Kindness is this. It is showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. And you know, we need to show kindness to the people around us. We need to let people know that we're big fans of them with the words that we say and the things that we do. Now, there's an important reason why we should do that, and we'll find out about that today in our Bible story. But before we get to that, it is February, which just happens to be the month of love, baby. Yeah, you know, Valentine's Day. <laughs> so how about we play a round of Chalk Draw Perfect Pair? You're going to love this game. Have some fun.
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that game. I know I did. I thought it was pretty fun, to be honest with you. Well, listen, it is time for us to jump up on our feet and sing some amazing worship songs to Jesus. I am so excited that we have this time to sing and worship Jesus together. I mean, he's our best friend that we could ever have, so let's celebrate his goodness together right now. Come on, let's sing together. Jesus, you have been so faithful. Jesus, you have been so true. I will be forever thankful, because I never had a friend like you. Great job singing out, kids. Well, listen, let's go to the Lord in prayer right now. We have a lot to thank Him for, and let's just talk to Him and let Him know how much we love Him and we're thankful for Him. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes together, okay? Lord Jesus, God, we thank You for the day. Thank You for this incredible opportunity to meet with our kids virtually and still be able to teach them about the Bible and Your love. And God, I am excited that we get to explore this subject of kindness together with them so that we can learn the importance of being kind to our family, our friends, our neighbors, just to the people that we meet each and every day. So God, I ask you today for your help, that you'll help me to clearly communicate to the kids this important lesson, to teach it in a way that they'll remember it, and not just remember it, but know how to actually apply it to their life throughout this week. And God, we are so grateful for our church. We're grateful for how you are continuing to bless our pastor and his health, and also how you are blessing at the new campus over at 325. God, we're so excited about that, and we just ask for your will to be done in that whole situation that everything will stay on track and uh, we can get in there sooner rather than later. So God, we just want to say we love you. Thank you for loving us, and we ask you to be in this service here with the kids today. We ask this in your name. Amen. Well, you know what, kids? We, we have a new song to teach you today, and it's called Give a Little Kindness. Now, I know that kindness is something that we all need more of, and we need to show it to this world too. So as you catch on with this new song, sing it out with me, okay? Got a rhythm in my heart and in my soul Got a 
reason for this joy I can't control. I wanna sing, I wanna dance, and give everyone a chance to hear about this in this life I know.
Well, as we mentioned at the beginning of the today's service, this month is all about kindness. Remember what it is. It is showing others that they are valuable by how you treat them. You know, it's really important for us to show kindness to the people around us. But that's not always easy, is it? I mean, it helps if we can remember where our kindness comes from in the first place. See if this situation sounds familiar to you. What if you're um, hanging out with some friends in your neighborhood or maybe an apartment complex and one kid says that he wants to hang out with someone else instead of you? Personally, I'd, I'd be upset if someone didn't want to hang out with me. It, it would be a little hard to show them kindness, wouldn't it? All right, how about another example? It could even be uh, that your brother or sister who just seems to bug you and drive you crazy all the time. You just want to pull your hair out. They're always saying the same annoying thing over and over and over again. I can remember, listen, I have an older brother and an older sister, and I used to love to aggravate them. Well, I still love to aggravate them, but when I was a kid, I had this little thing that I would say all the time, and it just drove them crazy. I would just go sit in the room with them, and all I would do is, bobbity 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 bob bobbity 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 bob bobbity 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 bob over and over and it drove them crazy so i don't know maybe you have a little brother or little sister who likes to do that to you i mean they're just always annoying it it seems like it would be really hard for us to be kind to an annoying little brother or sister it would be a lot easier for us to say something mean back but maybe it would help if we would think about where kindness really comes from. You know, we know what kindness looks like because we know how kind God has been to us. Take a look at what the Apostle Paul wrote in the book of Ephesians. This was part of a letter that Paul wrote to the people in the church in the town of Ephesus. This is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. We'll put it up on the screen for you. It says, Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another, just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. You see, Paul wanted the Ephesians to remember the amazing example of kindness that we have in Jesus. See, God loves us so much that he sent Jesus for us. He died on the cross so that we could be forgiven for the things that we've done wrong. He showed once and for all how valuable we are to him. He gave us the greatest example of kindness the world has ever known. And because of that, we should be kind to one another. We should follow God's example that he gave us in Jesus. Now look, there are lots of ways that we can show kindness. You can forgive your friend from the neighborhood instead of saying something mean back. After all, maybe it was just a misunderstanding. Maybe he had made plans to hang out with someone else a week ago or too earlier, so it's nothing personal at all. And you know, it's important to remember that you don't have to let someone be mean to you. If you have a problem with someone that's not getting better, ask an adult for help. You can't control how someone else will act, but you can control how you act. So instead of acting the same way back, you can decide to show kindness. And as far as that little annoying brother or sister goes, Maybe you could just stop what you're doing and ask your little brother to do something that you know he likes to do. Then he won't keep pestering you. And you might even have some fun while you're doing it. You can be a kindness super fan. I mean, you can show others they're valuable when you treat them the way that you want to be treated. Now look, that's not always easy, but you can make the first move when you choose to be kind. It all starts when you remember why you should be kind in the first place. And that's our bottom line for today. Be kind to others because God is kind to you. When you don't feel like being kind, you can ask God for help. Think about how kind God was to you when he sent Jesus for you. That'll help you remember to show kindness even when it's difficult. Let's watch our Bible video for right now. We'll talk about this some more in just a minute. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. 
the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 32. Sally Jessup and May Lynn lived in the same town and went to the same school. And both girls had YouTube shows about slime that racked up views from across the world. Get slimed with May! Sally's Slime Creations. The two girls were polite to each other in the hall at school. Hey there. Hi. But they weren't exactly friends either. I'm doing glow in the dark slime next week, so you should do something different. Look, I give my viewers what they want. Which is basically the same thing over and over. Rainbow sand slime, rainbow unicorn slime, rainbow crunchy slime. You're just jealous how many views my rainbow glitter slime got. Whatever. Plus, you use borax in your slime. It's not safe. Is too. Liquid starch is way better. The two girls glared at each other and marched off. A few days later, May watch Sally's newest episode. Sally's Slime Creations. She really should get better theme music. Here's a super important PSA before we get started. You've probably seen some slime recipes that use borax, but borax isn't safe or healthy. Hey, that is not true. I know there's another YouTube show telling you to use borax for the best slime, but in my opinion, you should just unsubscribe to that channel. What? And now it's time for some rainbow fluffy slime. You have got to be kidding. Sally just told thousands of people to stop watching my show. Well, I am unsubbing her right now. May couldn't stop thinking about what Sally had done. I cannot believe her. In the cafeteria at school the next day, Sally walked over to where May was sitting with some other friends at the lunch table. Can I sit here? No way, she can't sit here. When Sally spilled her backpack at the lockers. Oh no. May pretended not to notice and marched right on past. That evening, when May recorded her next episode, she had an announcement of her own. Today on Get Slime with May, I've got an amazing guest to tell us all about the science of slime. But first, I need to warn you about another slime channel. Someone's telling you not to use Borax. Well, you should hit unsubscribe fast because she's a liar. Borax is completely safe and makes the best slime. Now it's time to welcome our guest, Wendy Newton. She's a chemistry expert. May switched to a split screen with her guest, a middle-aged woman with wild curly hair and sleepy eyes. Hi, Wendy. Welcome to the show. I'm honored to be here. I gotta ask, you think borax is the best thing to use for slime, right? Borax is great if it's used correctly. I think God has given each of us the smarts to look up safety guidelines and be wise about it. Oh, yeah, of course. So let's get down to it. You're a chemist, how cool is that? You could say we're all chemists. I mean, just baking brownies is chemistry. That's right. What kind of chemistry are you whipping up for your dinner? Oh, well, it's actually, uh, uh, uh 3 a.m. here. Wait, what? I'm in Dubai right now. But that's like halfway around the world, so it's night. I, oh, uh, I am so sorry. I woke you up. It's all right. You said that in your email. I forgot. It's okay, really. You're being so nice about it. Hey, kind is cool. There's this verse in the Bible from the book of Ephesians. It's kind of my motto. Be kind and tender to one another. Forgive one another, just as God forgave you because of what Christ has done. May frowned. She had to admit she wasn't always great at being kind when someone made her angry. Look, I've messed up so many times and God has wiped the slate clean every single time. That makes it a lot easier to forgive when other people make mistakes. Like calling in the middle of the night? Hey, aren't we a little off topic from slime? Um, I think I'm gonna have to restart this recording. I said some stuff about someone else I need to delete. And 
how about I call you back in the morning? I mean, my morning, your afternoon. Hmm, hmm, that sounds fantastic. May leaned back in her chair and released a long breath. I haven't been very kind at all, even a little. Grabbing her phone, May started a DM to Sally. Hey, I'm sorry about the lunch table thing. I think Rainbow Slime is pretty cool. Maybe we should do a show together sometime. May wasn't sure how Sally would respond, but she did feel better knowing that she'd taken the steps toward being kind, instead of focusing on payback. You know, it's so important for us to show kindness, even when it's tough, even when people don't really deserve it. Even in those times, we can choose to be kind with God's help. I mean, after all, God himself gave us the best ever example of kindness. So remember, be kind to others because God is kind to you. God sent Jesus to be our Savior. And because of what Jesus did on the cross, we know that God will forgive us for every time we mess up. That's why we can always trust God to show us kindness. And we can choose every day to show His kindness to other people. Now, to help us remember all about kindness and the importance of it, we have a really cool memory verse this month that comes from another one of Paul's letters this time it's from the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 12. Let's put it up on the screen for you, and why don't you read it along with me? Here we go. You are God's chosen people. You are holy and dearly loved. So put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes. Don't be proud. Be gentle and patient. Colossians 3, 12, nerve. Man, did you hear that? Put on tender mercy and kindness as if they were your clothes? You have to choose to put on kindness. You can choose the way you're going to treat other people every single day. You can choose to treat others the way that you want to be treated. And you can do that when you remember how kind that God has been to you. So when you're having a hard time with someone, you don't have to wait for them to apologize. You can make the first move. Treat them with kindness, just like God has shown you and I, okay? So choose to be kind, even when you don't want to be. Now, that's all the time we've got for today, because if you're watching this on Sunday, we had a big game to get ready for, right? Or maybe you're watching this later in the week. Either way, our time is running out, so you know the routine. Right hand up in the air, high five. I will see you soon.